Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome back to this, the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. We also create comic books. We are doing the 100 days of making comics challenge where you spend 30 minutes a day at least working on your own personal comic book project and you do that for 100 days straight. You vlog about it, you post on, about it online, whatever, however you wanna do that, but you let people know so you can be held accountable and you can make some progress and you can little by little build up your comic book work, you know, because otherwise sometimes we just don't find time in, time in the day to work on this stuff. So if we just set aside 30 minutes a day, you know, everyone's got 30 minutes, set that aside and then, you know, at least, and if you do that, then gradually those days will add up and after 100 days, you've made some progress. So my comic book, my personal comic book project as we speak, I'm in the middle of it. And this is this is the, the current issue. This is issue three. I'm working on issue four, but it's Young and the Dead. It's Kids vs. Zombies. If you like Goonies, if you like Monster Squad, if you like Stranger Things, it's kind of like that. And that's available at CircWorks.com. So today, what we're gonna talk about is name. name. Oh, okay. So, so we've got mail. Um, I hope this is what I think it is because I'm running some. I'm running low on some supplies, and I've got some old supplies that I need to upgrade. So, hopefully, I think that's what this is. Let's see. All right. Now, if you guys are new, by the way, what is this? What, what is this deal? You, you see all these tubes right here? This is the vacuum. Vacuolux. It is our mail delivery system that we use here in the lab to send to different sections and, and that's how I get my mail. So uh, let's see what I got today. All right. Judging by the size of this and the kind of the shape, I think I, I think this is what I'm hoping it is. So I don't know what kind of supplies you guys use to create comics specifically. Yes, specifically inking. Um, but People are always asking, you know, what do you use as far as brushes? Do you use quills? Do you use what kind of ink do you use? So I'm gonna fill you in. If you're if you're new, if you've been watching me for a while, you probably picked up on this. So I've got some new brushes. These were I really needed these. So these are the Windsor Newton Series 7. They're really nice brushes. Um, sometimes they can be on the pricey side. Sometimes you can find a good deal on them. But I've got here, I ordered a number zero and a number one. And I think I might need to order a double aught, which is the double zero, double aught, same thing. So those are the brushes that I use. Um, but again, don't pay too much, do too close attention to tools because it's really the artist what they do with the things. But but I do like these, so I would recommend them. But it's not a necessity. I mean, you don't have to sink a lot of money. Don't create barriers for yourself to create comics. You know, even if you you know, kind of sharpie or whatever. If you're making comics, that's great. Now, as far as ink. This is like my favorite ink right here. This is a Japanese ink. It's called Deleter Black Number no. Five, and it's really smooth. It works great with Copic markers. It doesn't smudge, and this is my favorite stuff. Uh, I really do like this. When I don't have this, sometimes I use Speedball, which is what I've been using. But now I finally got some more of this, so that is great. So those are those are my you know tools of choice as far as inking comics. But uh, yeah, let's get on to the process of creating that comic book, we're gonna go up here to this device. You know what this is? You know what the Vaculux is now if you're new, but what is this? This is the Paralleloscope. This device allows us to view parallel universes, alternate realities, where an alternate version of myself could very well be working on the comic book as we speak. I'm curious if that's the case. Let's go see, let's check it out. But before we check it out, I almost forgot this, Yeah. I, you know, I've been, how many days have I been doing this thing and I, I forgot, this is, this is like one of the most important things or else I get totally lost. Um, so, <laughs> we're a little out of order today, but that's okay. I was expecting to have a topic, but then I got the mail and everything like that. So we are, we're a little confused, but what we got here is the big fat Sharpie, the oversized pad of paper, and we're just going to jot down what day it is today so we know, so we can keep track of that. Um, so today's day. 82. Day 82. We've marked it down. Now we know where we're at. Now it's time to go to the paralleloscope. Let's see what's going on. 
I'm looking forward to trying out those uh, new tools, the new brushes and the new ink. Uh, I've been using, uh, I've been using the, what was it? What's the Speedball ink? And I think it's like drying up or something because it's not going on smooth. So hopefully this new deleter ink is going to make that better, plus with the brushes and everything. So looking forward to that. But before we can get to doing any inking, I've got to finish penciling this page. So this is page seven and we're getting further along. I've got uh, a little more, I'm just doing some touch-ups and then I got to do this uh, final panel here. So yeah, I've been thinking, uh, I think I'm doing pretty well as far as my, my time and, and, and how far along I am in the challenge compared to my first round of 100 Days of Making Comics where I was working on issue three. So I think, I, and I, I'll have to go back and check. And I think I think at the end of the challenge, I'll probably do like a comparison, and we'll see where I was before, where I ended up, and just to kind of see. Because I always, hopefully, like to <laughs> do better each time. So I think I'm a little bit ahead of schedule, but I, I will have to look back at that. Um, but uh, I don't remember how many pages I had done when when the first round of 100 Days of Making Comics wrapped up. But uh, I, I, I think I'm on par with that at least. So we'll check up on, on that and it'll be fun. I'll probably do like a recap and stuff as we get a little further along. But we still, we still got a little ways to go. Um, so hopefully, maybe I can even kick it up a notch and, and you know, it would be cool if I could just kind of blow that other record. I don't, record is the right word, but <laughs> what I did before, if I can blow that out of the water. Um, so. But uh, yeah, this is a fun page to do because it's mostly mostly characters. Not that not that the you know the buildings and the the perspective drawing and stuff isn't. But uh, I tend to kind of I can get a little go a little faster. You know, obviously I'm I think a little better at drawing people than um, than backgrounds and stuff like that. But that's no reason not to do them because that's how you learn and that's how you get better by by practicing. So I'm, I don't intentionally leave anything out. I think we'll see a little bit of background on this one. Um, I gotta figure out kind of what perspective, where where they are standing, and gotta pay attention to where characters move along in the story from your different angles and make sure, you know, they're not against one thing and then the next season they're in a totally different position. Although the camera angle can shift and I, I tend to do that quite a bit. So, but uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap, uh, I'll, I'll probably be wrapping my 30 minutes up on this, of course speeding that up to about a couple minutes, but uh, we should check in and see what's going on with the backyard, that whole adventure. Backyard status update, so as you can see, it doesn't look great, uh, but I planted seed, fertilized, and uh, I've been watering like crazy, and uh, it's taken a while. Every, everything that I read on the seed and everything said I should have grass by now and I could see a little bit popping up. Plus, I was hoping the original grass would start springing back, but um, I don't know. I really want this thing to be done by my 100 days. I want it to look nice, so we'll see if that happens. All right, back once again in the underground laboratory, and we are gonna take day 82 off of the big pad of paper. We're gonna crumble this thing up and try to get it in that trash can, that overflowing trash can. Please, somebody, where's my help? Where are my, my hench minions to clean this stuff up? I don't know, I, I think eventually I'm just gonna have to do it, but I've got so much other stuff, I, you know, but like they say, good help is hard to find. I will see you guys tomorrow for day what? Is it day 83? I'll see you then. That is all. Hey everyone, you've seen the process. Now you can check out the story. Issues one through three of Young and the Dead are available at my website at surfworks.com. Also follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in the series. There's much more to come.